in this video we are going to talk about break continue and past statements these are used to control the loops that which we are running in a way they can be used to terminate and continue a particular loop now let's see this with an example now suppose i am printing from 0 to 10 in case if i want this loop to be terminated at arrival of 5 or 6 or 7 like that you can specify the condition which is if i equal to equal to 5 break now if you notice after running this code the loop started executing even though you specified 10 times here it started with 0 1 2 3 4 5 the moment it encountered 5 it's break out of the loop and then it's terminated the entire loop itself so break helps us to exit a loop when the condition is satisfied or when the condition is invoked this time we will understand this concept now let's understand this concept with one more example so i'm going to declare string equal to data science i'll specify for i in string so if i encounter a word called s i have to break out of this loop else it has to continue printing the outputs so i'll just put print i if i equal to s equal to equal to s then let's do break now what happens is it starts executing the loop it starts with d and it print letter by letter finally it arrives at s and that's when it start terminating the loop now you can see the output we got only d a t a and space and then s so because i have written print statement before the s i got the output s also in case if i just wanted the output of s not to be displayed so i can do like this as well so now it starts with d and it actually prints till s only s is not part of the output so we learned break statement with a few examples now now the next thing that we're going to study is a continue let's understand the concept of continue first continue statements helps us in continuing the loop only it will skip the condition part so in the previous example i have declared string equal to data science now earlier when the s yes letter present it will terminate now this time when i have s letter i don't want to terminate the entire loop i will skip s and print other values so for i in string colon if i equal to equal to yes earlier break break will terminate at encounter of yes now instead of break i will specify continue if you notice the output we got all the values except s yes, because when the more s occurred in the iteration it actually skipped that s and it started printing all other values so continue helps us to skip a specific condition and then proceed with the entire loop now we will study this with one more example from numbers data for i in range of 0 to 10 print i if i equal to equal to 5 continue so we should print i at the end because I'm printing upfront itself, it is displaying. Now, if you notice, I, when the condition I equal to five, it actually skips that particular loop and uh, it prints all other numbers as a output. 
the next statement that we're going to discuss is pass it's a null statement and uh, it will be ignored by the compiler during the execution so what is the purpose of a pass statement when uh, it's null and uh, it's ignored by the interpreter see the main reason that which we use pass in the programming is suppose if i've written condition one and there is a statements that we write here right statement one statements are some logic that you will write inside this now i'll specify statement one now when you don't know the logic right now when you want to include this logic later part of the code so it's basically you will keep a placeholder there where syntactically it will be correct but later you can implement whatever the logic that which you want to write there that's how you are going to use this pass statements so it's basically x equal to 10 let's let's understand this with an example if x is divisible by 2 equal to equal to 0 let's assume that you don't know what you need to do here so you're going to specify pass else you say print ml labs now in this case it's executed this program and uh, it checked the condition the condition is true but we have not specified any logic here so we just put pass now if it is different number so like let's say 12 for all the numbers it get executed only pass statement now if you don't write this it throw a syntactical error so you are just keeping a placeholder there just to add this logic later